Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. It is Monday outside the gym, which means it is deadlift day. It is also the start of the fourth week of the program I'm currently running through Silent Mike or Michael Farr from supertraining.tv or Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West, whatever you are more familiar with. But this should be interesting today. After this week, we're gonna sit down, and I told him by the end of this week, I'm gonna let him know when my next meet will be. I'm thinking right now, October 12th. I think it's one that I've also suggested to Nick Wright, so maybe we'll get him to do it as well. Uh, but we just wanna really focus on a meet, that way we can get the programming in place to make sure that we peak in time. So I'm really looking forward to that, as I haven't done a meet since February. I did have one scheduled for this spring, but it got canceled, which always sucks, because again, programming to peak at certain times, and afterwards, taking a week off or a deload week, and then with all the travel, I'm really looking forward to getting back and competing, and I'm gonna to try to compete at a lower weight class uh, than I did the last meet. So the last time I competed, it was at the 242 class, I believe. I'm gonna to try to get back down to 220, so that way I have an excuse when I don't lift as much weight, saying just I'm a little skinny bitch. That YouTube mentality, you know how it goes. Uh, but we're gonna get in, do some work, and get out. Hopefully not stay too long. A lot of volume today, uh, so I'll probably only show you several of the clips for accessory work and just maybe the main set, but we'll see. I'll talk to you inside. All right, deadlift day today. All lifts were done from a three inch deficit. First working set of 405 here. Pay attention to my form on this first rep. And in fact, pay attention to the form on all of my first reps this day and even in previous workouts. What I find is that I'm very loose on the first rep for some reason, but I'm able to fix that in the other reps. So that's something I wanna correct going forward. I wanna find the disconnect of why I'm so loose on that first rep, because let's face it, no one likes someone that's overly loose. We all want extra tightness. Second set here, 455. Now the goal today was to just work up to a heavy set of five on these deficits. So I ended up working up to 500, which you'll see right after this. Just to answer some common questions that I get with this, no, I'm not wearing a belt right now, but I will throw one on for 500. I'm also not wearing shin guards. These are actually my SBD knee sleeves that I use for squatting just wearing them on my shins because they offer great protection because they already have some padding built in and plus they cost 90 freaking dollars so i'm going to try to get as much use out of them as i can now here in my final working set of 500 pounds i did throw on the belt you can also see that i'm really happy with my grip strength and overall my core strength is i don't have to throw on a belt before then as well as i don't ever have an issue it seems with my grip these days as far as calluses or things like that go or having to drop the bar my main problem has always been getting it off the floor so that's why I really like doing these deficit works, even though my form looks a little bit shitty just because of my height and the fact that I'm at a three inch deficit, I think that these are really gonna translate over to help me out overall. And although this last rep here was a grinder, it still felt really good and I felt really strong in these positions. From here, we moved on to block pulls and the goal was to work up to a heavy triple. So I only ended up doing two sets total because I was pretty spent by this point. So the first set here, I did a 500 pounds. This is from about a three inch block, so we went pretty much in the opposite direction. And these all felt really good as well. So really smooth here. So I decided to go ahead and bump it up by 20 pounds. So the next set I did at 520. And again, just based off the volume, if you count in the warm up sets that I did for the other deadlifts, we're probably at about eight or nine sets right now. That's pretty good volume for me considering that I'm training five days a week and that I also have a back day after this. So this was pretty much it for me. I probably could have grinded out more, but again, overall health, is something that's in my mind. The next thing was to work up to some heavy sets of front squats. And for me on this particular day, it was just 225. Now no belts on these front squats. And one of the things that I'm also trying to work on is not using my Olympic lifting shoes on this. So no raised heel, but because of this, you really see my ankle mobility coming into play. Especially on this last set, you can really see my ankles kind of come up forward. Again, this is something I'm trying to actively work on, but I felt like my front squats, my depths were pretty good. Again, considering that I'm not using Olympic shoes and that I'd already done some heavy deadlifts. Now for this next one, worked to a heavy set of six on stiff legged deadlifts from a deficit again of three inches. And for this case, I actually decided to throw on straps for the first time in probably about six months. And this is only because I've been doing a lot of heavy pulling movements. And at this point, my hands are starting to take a little bit of a beating. Now my forearms get a lot of good work from these movements, but the fact is I don't want to develop calluses at this point. So I just kind of played it smart and decided to throw straps on. Again, a lot of people look down at them and I kind of go in moods of if I like them or not, but they felt good on this day. So I just decided to go with it. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. I don't know when this clip is going to go into this video, but 
I'm assuming it's gonna go after my workout from yesterday, which was deadlift. Today is actually a jacked and tan day, which means we're doing back and biceps. So typical bro split day. And because it's a typical bro split day, I'm actually gonna be training at a different gym, Ocean State Health and Fitness, which you guys might be more familiar with because that's where Nick Wright trains and more recently Bob from Olympus Iron. And in fact, I'm gonna be meeting up with Bob and training. I have my camera out now because I like to whip it out, but since I'm in a new place, I might be a little bit skeptical and scared to just whip it out in front of a bunch of strangers, but I'm going to try and film and get some footage. So hopefully, you will see it, and if not, you probably won't see this intro anyway, so I don't know why I would even say that to begin with. So let's go in and let's get to it. All right, so as mentioned, training with Bob from Olympus Iron at Ocean State Health and Fitness. And for my day today, it really called for three back movements for three sets each between 10 to 15 reps. However, being that I was in Bob's gym and that my programming isn't necessarily overly specific. I decided to do a little bit above and beyond and really wanted to throw this into what Bob wanted to do. Now I'm just gonna show you the first set of most of these only because the weight was static and I don't wanna make this video too long. But a lot of these are movements that I don't really do too often just because we don't have this kind of equipment in the gym that I train at most frequently. So here what you're seeing is it looks like, let's see if I can do some quick math, about 230 pounds. I think that's right, four 45s and two 25s. We'll go with it. And I think I tried to do 15 reps here and I tried to do a little bit higher rep range of each. From here, we moved on to rows and I wanted to do pendley rows only because for me, bent over barbell rows, I don't really feel it too much in my back. Plus this one makes me feel a little bit better because we can be a little bit more explosive. I find when I do bent over barbell rows, it's more slow and controlled and this movement allows me to still still throw some explosive movements in it. I got a little bit of a lisp going. Got all kinds of spit gains up going in my mouth. We then moved on to a very interesting exercise. I had never done this before. Basically, one arm T-bar type rows. This is something that Bob does and I decided to go ahead and do it because again, being in Bob's gym, I wanted to cater to what he wanted to do. So I put myself in his hands. Now, I do apologize on the second parts of these exercises as this is just straight up ass shots. So some of you might really like this, in which case, there you go. And for those of you that don't like it, I am truly sorry, but it is what it is. I didn't really feel like moving my camera around, but this is definitely a great exercise. I actually really liked it. And by this point anyway, my lats were pretty much on fire. This is the first time that I did it. So you're seeing me pop my cherry, if you will, on this particular movement. I'm using my off arm to brace myself against my knees just to make sure that my back's not rounding. You can also get to see in this case how small my calves are and you will really get to see. So for me, when I turn around and show you the glute spread, so to say, I think most of you will be distracted by that left leg. Look at it, it looks awful. I think my forearm is bigger than that. In fact, I think my ding dong is bigger than that. Or at least I'd like to think it is. I think that's probably just wishful thinking, but I'm going a little bit off on a tangent, but you see what it is. No calf crew literally checking in. Good thing that I do powerlifting and not bodybuilding and I'm happy with my squat and my lower body movement, so I don't really care if my calves aren't that impressive. Side rant over, I'm crying. You're probably lucky that this is not a face video voiceover. We then moved on to close grip pull on. This was the last lat exercise that we did, and I gotta say again that my back was in fuego after this. It was on fire, pumped up to the max, and it was definitely stretching that schmedium that I was wearing. But again, it felt good because I'm not used to a lot of these movements. Even though I really liked working with Dan Green, this was not something that was really part of the programming. These pump days, these jacked and tan, these bro out days or whatever you will, it felt really good. Again, going for higher reps here, that's really the point of the day. Kind of feed your inner bro as Mike would say. And overall, I really enjoyed it. So one of the things that was really surprising to me about this gym is the fact that it is fairly empty for the time we train. So this was roughly around 6 p.m., which for most gyms from what I've seen, especially like commercial type gyms, is a very busy time. And literally, I think there was maybe like five or six people here at any given time, which is good and bad. It's good for us because we get to train, we get to move around, we get to bring our cameras, we don't have to wait for machines, but at the same time, it makes you wonder if gyms like this can survive. And that's a very interesting question for this particular gym, because for anyone who follows me and sees that, some of the other comments I leave on like Nick Wright's videos when he trained here initially, I actually used to belong to this gym about 10 years ago, and in that time, it's gone through several different owners, so hopefully these ones work out. From what I've heard from Bob and him talking to the owners and also seeing the owner in Nick's videos, he seems like it's 
going pretty well and he has other jobs on the side so this is more of a passion for him and you can really tell because they have a lot of great equipment he's always investing in the gym always trying to improve it so they recently got a deadlift platform which you guys again saw in those pendlay rows and i guess i'm just trying to kind of really spur the conversation and ramble on only so we kind of get away from the fact that we are curling in the squat rack. Now I got to say that that was actually planned. So we want to do some bicep exercises, two bicep exercises. And let's say, do some barbell curls. And I said, well, let's do them in the squat rack specifically, just for spite. And if you know my channel and you know my comments, you know I do a lot of things just for spite. So you're welcome. From there, we moved on to seated dumbbell curls. And this is a lot of curl action for me. You guys saw my video the other day when I did curls for the first time in a long time. And I was using some really dinky weights. Still, I'm on that dinky weight train, but it's getting better. And this is one of the things I'm looking forward to because, again, I haven't spent a lot of time training arms, which makes me think that I could potentially still suck some gains from the teat of arm training. It's just a very, very cool subject. Look at that Johnny Candido clone in the background. What's up, baby? Uh, and at this point too, I also had an itch on my nose and I was like, this is terrible. I have to itch my nose, but I got to finish these sets. You also see Bob jump in here and do some alternating curls as well. There's a couple more minutes of the video of us training and then him and I are in my car for a little bit more commentary. However, I'm going to cut it here just because I've been talking way too long. And let's be honest, you guys don't really want to hear my voice or any more bad sexual innuendos because believe me, there are plenty of them when we get in the car. Fuck it, I'll hold it. All right, <laughs> we're back, and I'm extremely close to Bob, even closer than I might want I to know. be. And closer than it seems. We're some fresh young men. Well, yeah. I don't know about young, but anyways, here with Bob from Olympus Iron. You guys heard me talk about him in intro. You've actually seen him in several of my videos, as well as all over the YouTubes, from FitCon to Nick Wright to all over. He's probably one of the most gotten around YouTubers, if you will. But I wanted to come and pull him in my car. Typically, it's tough for me to pull young boys in. This is a <laughs> terrible job. But anyways, I wanted to get Bob in here and just have him talk to you guys, tell him a little bit about his channel in case you guys for some reason aren't subscribed, because you definitely should. And I think I just said subscribed instead of subscribe. <laughs> Got that Chris Jones accent coming through. So, Bob, what's up, baby? All right, guys, what's happening? So, my channel, mostly bodybuilding, powerlifting, basically everything. I have a good... Uh, good handle on my social skills so I try to have a little bit of fun with you not too serious but also I like to give you guys some content you know I do like getting around to other youtubers because it's a lot like that meme is that when you see uh, another youtuber and you're like you do YouTube you lift we're, do we just become best friends? I particularly like Brandon because much like Brandon, I have a nine to five, I'm an accountant, um, and I actually have a, you know, a whole life other than YouTube, I don't just live through this, so um, definitely trying to bring the best knowledge to you. Um, I'm probably, it's, set, what I, it's seven weeks from my show, uh, I'm gonna compete in a natural bodybuilding competition, and then hopefully I'll be doing a meet with Brandon afterwards. Originally, we were supposed to do a meet. He was gonna do it solo. Yeah, if you guys remember that last time when I was supposed to do a meet, right before I went to Vegas, Bob was actually gonna do it for me. He went out, he got a singlet, so it was really, <laughs> really committed to that sense. You were, um, like, you were like stranded, you're like, dude, no one will do this meet with me, and I'll just be like, yo, fuck it, I'll do it. <laughs> he, stepped, he stepped up big, never done a powerlifting meet before, he jumped all in only about a week or two out. Yeah. Uh, really disappointing that it didn't happen, but hopefully once he's done with his contest season, we'll go ahead and do some competitions as well. I still got the red singlet though. Uh, <laughs> what has been seen cannot be unseen is all I'm saying, all right? Let's just say that that's gotten some use and I haven't actually been in a power lift. Hey, if, if you're into role plays, cosplays, whatever, Exactly. Bob is the channel to check out, not mine. I got the, I got the dirty jokes and the innuendos, but you will not see me in very much tight singlet spandex that often. That's a red light. Then. That's a red light. Yeah. Red light disc. Got red light. <laughs> hey, fancy. Anything else you got, Bob? Uh, 
No, that's it. Check out the channel if you like it. Um, I moved closer. I'm actually in West Warwick, so I'll be chilling with Brandon a lot more. Uh, hopefully chilling with Nick Wright, and if Max can get his skinny legs up to this area, maybe we can have a triple collab. And also, Maddie calling you out too, bro. We'd, uh, we need to chill more. Yeah, definitely. So check out his channel if you haven't already. I think I'm going to probably go ahead and wrap up this video right now, only because I've embarrassed myself. I've embarrassed Bob. I've embarrassed all the viewers. Bu the viewers. The viewers. I'm getting really excited because there's a man. I don't often have men in my car, let alone ones in stringers. Yeah, you know, you know I'm actually really impressed at how fluid your your jokes are now. You know, like I, I don't know if you guys like he didn't record any like pre-record any of that. He literally that just off the off the cuff. Like he that that this stuff is you can't even make up. Like I I thought I was quick, but which, no. which is a bad sign if I have that stuff at the top of my mind all the time. So losing before it. I further incriminate myself, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video. So again, check out Bob's channel if you haven't already. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching. Stay big. <laughs> you heard the man.